Hello, my Geminis. Welcome back to Cuban Empress 1111. Um, if you are uh, back, thank you very much and welcome. And if you're new, also welcome as well. Um, also, um, I wanted to let you know, you guys, I want to apologize because I have had my daughter's wedding um, last month, the ending of last month. And so happens that when I came back from the wedding, I ended up having COVID. So I had to kind of, you know, recuperate from my COVID before I would be able to come again live. Um, when you're sick, energies don't flow um, as good. So I cannot do cards sick. <laughs> I cannot read energies when I'm sick. So, um, but being that said, I'm doing a lot better. Um, my mom also ended up with it as well. And she just has a little bit of a cough, but thankfully, you know, she's getting to the other side of it as well. And um, just a pleasure to be back here with you guys. But I also wanted to excuse myself for not being uh, present. Last month, I had a lot of readings for the children. And those are all uploaded on my YouTube. Um, and they're the, the children readings from 12 to 17 years old for all the zodiac signs. So um, I'm back. And let's go ahead and get into your energy. I also, guys, would like to ask for you guys to subscribe, share, my comment and also hit the like button for me that way um you will allow my energies to flow and connect with you all okay um so gemini i did start with the monology cards first one we got is meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces maybe dealing with a pisces or could have pisces in your chart in your natal chart or one of your placements um and your dreams need a practical plan this is full moon and um, full moon and Taurus. So also you could be dealing with Taurus. I do see Taurus energy um, here with the Empress starting in with the Empress um, for the tarot reading. We did get um, grief work. Maybe some of you need to work on perhaps maybe you're going through a separation with someone. You may need to work on that. You may need to work on grief, you know, or maybe a loved one that maybe somebody lost. Um, and you're going through that grief period, okay? Grieving can be losing somebody or can also be losing a relationship, of course, you know? Anything that's lost or job loss could also be as well. Um, new exercise program. I do definitely see you guys getting into shape and moving, guys. You guys may be moving or may have moved um, recently. So congratulations if you did. And if it was a purchase of the house, even more congratulations. Um... We have number 33 on the Mystical Moments uh, Tarot. I'm sorry, Oracles. We have Weaving Flowers, number 33, and number 26, Transformation. These two may be very significant numbers for you. Um, transformation, we all know what it is. You know, a lot of you are, are transforming into um, to other things. You know, you're transforming your life into many different aspects, perhaps transforming in business and career realm. And number 33. Give me a second here. So in this card, we see a woman gathering a delicate, the delicate petals of blossom and making them into flowers. It seems like she's weaving them together, bringing a greater whole into being. She is calm and concentrated on her work. This woman is a creator. She draws from the petals falling from the sky and growing from earth inspiration is all around you gather it up to create a new whole so see you guys are transforming you guys are creating a whole new person okay you're becoming into a, a whole new being okay and that's a good thing you know that's a good thing you guys are going transforming that's why i see the moving i see the you know you guys are also working on on grieving you know on closing cycles and grieving and things like that that perhaps maybe you guys have been I'm going through to obviously come out better on the other side and, you know, be a little bit more happy. Moving into tarot, the first card was the Empress. This is Libra or Taurus energy. But you started with abundance, so you're definitely dealing with one of those signs. Second card we got is the Four of Cups. So somebody here is mad at someone. That's what that is. That energy is turning their back to something. I do see here there was a betrayal of some sort. There was an argument. What I'm picking up is that there, the Five of Swords, is, it, was, it was a card of an, it was, it was a disagreement or an argument between you and someone. 
or you with this empress is what I'm getting. A lot of juggling going on. On something that you wanted to have victory on. And that you felt was your nine of cups. You felt was your fulfillment. Was your wish fulfillment. I do have the queen of pentacles here. This is Virgo Taurus. Energy can also be Capricorn. That's earth, earth energy. There's a devil here, guys. So with the devil here, what I'm thinking is that there was a lot of emotions for between an empress, between an empress and a, and a, and a queen of pentacles, okay? And you're coming in here with the king of wands. This is Libra. This is, I'm sorry, Libra. Um, Gemini energy, the king of wands, and the world. So you close the cycle. You close the cycle to open a new one. Could have been a toxic cycle with this Queen of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. Not sleeping, stressed out, anxiety. But you're wanting to move forward with a new beginning. Or you have begun a new beginning. Here we have the King of Pentacles. That's you. Could be, well... You could have Virgo in your chart. You could have you could have you could have Virgo in your chart. Yeah. So that this could be you. You know, you are transforming. You are creating new things with the Emperor here. And we have the Knight of Voices. That's the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is definitely Gemini energy. So um You know, you are moving into new things, but you know, you, you did go through a period of anxiety. Or you may have anxiety because you're going into new endeavors. We do have the emperor here again. Okay, on the on on the uh, mystical moments tarot, and then we have the chariot. You're moving forward, moving fast. That energy will leave that one for last. Um, you're moving into. There's a okay. The hangman is here. But what I'm seeing here is that you guys are looking at things under a new perspective. Because you have the chariot here. That's you're moving very fast with that card. Okay, we have again the king of the king of swords here. So coming in, you with clarity here into a four of cups. And what happened here was, okay, yeah. So you're looking under something with a new perspective because something something was stagnant. So there was stagnation. You're coming in with truth. You know, you're, you're coming in with your king of swords here. You have your back turned to something. That didn't that didn't it didn't have any communication. There was a lack of communication with the Eight of Wands. So there was no communication moving forward. There was a lot of love with the Ace of Cups. I do see your judgment is coming. You're going within, introspecting the situation, wanting to offer like new beginnings and love, you know, moving towards beginnings and love. And following your intuition with the High Priestess here. High Priestess is Piscean energy. Something that you want to plant seeds with. That you want to grow with. That you don't want to give up on with the Knight of Wands. You want to keep fighting for it. Here we have you again. With the, with, you know, the King of Swords. And what I see here is you're moving. Working to work, working with your money here with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, you're, you're. Little by little, kind of, you know, just, I think, you're, you know, you're moving into new work endeavors and new money and, you know, and all of that. Could be a new job as well. You know, um, money is good, perhaps maybe moving. You know, you're doing many different things, Gemini. You know, I see you very active. Um, three of Wands is um, movement forward. And then the Four of Inspiration is Four of Wands is, you know, happy life, happy family relationship. Perhaps you're moving into a relationship. Um, there is a decision that you need to make because you, you know, there is something that has been, that has kind of had you in that five of cups energy, you know, kind of hurt. And again, you know, we got the nine of swords here, you know, again, the anxiety, you know, moving in, we have a page of voices. So page of voices is page of swords. So this could be, you know, you spying on somebody, stalking somebody, trying to get information. Page of Materials is a, is, is a sorry card. I think that there's going to be some kind of apology here that's going to be taking place. Because you want the Ten of Cups with that, per, you know, with that person. 
the ace of the ace of materials is the ace of pentacles so definitely you know financially i see i see things good and again ace of inspiration that's another you have all three aces here you have the four aces here actually out okay so definitely a lot of new beginnings a lot of new things that are going to be going on i did do the oracle love cards and we got abundance again that's the empress see that's the empress the empress signifies abundance so you're definitely going towards abundance you got the card of kisses unconditional loving giving and receiving affection falling in love however there could have been here there was a second party here okay there was a third party i guess you can basically say because we have the snake competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman when i got this card out of the deck it caught my attention really fast as i looked up and i saw like in the back here where my uh sand lamp is i saw like my salt lamp i saw like a quick like a quick snake like that like was it, i don't know it was weird it was like a weird image like that that, it, that i saw like in the moment when i read this card it was very interesting the phoenix so basically new phase like rising from the phoenix so a new phase rekindling renew transformation growth change of mind see you have again transformation again boat you know receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues see moving can also mean um actual moving it can also mean moving on moving on from situations working on that grieving and just moving on and ascending you know you did get the ascending card you guys were ascending to other levels um transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so you guys may be preparing for union because you do guys have you guys do have your twin flame coming in here so i do see a divine twin flame here um i think the twin flame is this empress this libra or taurus energy i i really do feel that um it says it's safe to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life wedding so there could be people here that are married that are reconciling that are that are coming back to each other or it could literally be that you're going to eventually want to marry that person that you're wanting to go towards um finances and career finances financial issues and um are a factor in your love life right now or perhaps maybe they have been you know um soulmate this is a soulmate this is your soulmate this is the person so you know i see your money coming in good so if if there was money issues here it was in the past or you're trying to work towards that to go to towards this person okay so i did the white rose guidance deck and these are just little messages that perhaps maybe things that you've told that person or that person has told you so give in give in for my touch for my taste for my lust I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. I am burning with passion for you. I would just hurt you more right now. I need to be alone. This could have been an energy, past energy. I have no words for your kindness and generosity. You are the song of my heart. Your beauty cascades over me. And then these are the these are the um, oracles that I did for my little messages that I did for myself. Um, so take you out to dinner. You may be dealing with an airy sign. I like to pleasure myself looking at your pics. Let me tell you something. Every sign that I have done so far has gotten this card. So, y'all people saving <laughs> those pictures and you guys are having a bit of a ball because every sign that i have done got this card it's so crazy i want to go away with you i know my worth you are so charming you drive me crazy never forgot you so 
you know, this also could be an energy of, you know, something that happened. The, you know, guys never forgot each other. And, you know, perhaps maybe again, I see a lot of reconciliation, transformation, good things coming. I see new relationships here. I see money being okay. You guys are working towards your money, gathering your pentacles and working towards your money. So I do see a lot of good things um, coming in. Remember to uh, make a practical plan meditate please very important for people to know how to meditate if you don't know how to meditate there's youtube videos i can show you how to do that and meditation always brings answers most definitely all right so let's do your angel cards here for your advice excuse me these energies are all over the place all right spirit show me the advice for gemini Show me the advice for Gemini. Thank you. Show me the advice for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Advice for Gemini. Thank you. Advice for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Advice for Gemini. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> There's a lot of advice for you. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, guys. So <laughs> we have situation will improve. Take action. Again, these are very general. Apply these advices to your unique situation. Okay. Be assertive. Something you need to wait on. Some of you may need to wait. Remain positive. Very important. But don't stop. Compromising, guys, for reconciliation. Being assertive. Compromising. Very important that you guys have that. All right? Something is unlikely and there is going to be success on something. Okay? So, Gemini, this is has been your reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it brings some clarity. Please, again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe on my channel so that you will be notified every time I, I put up a new video. It was my pleasure being back here with you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. I love you all, and I will be back with some more readings, guys. Look forward to coming back. Thank you. Bye-bye.